hauling several thousand pounds, 5,000 pounds of shark out of the water after you've stressed it to exhaustion near death so it's safe to work with. Dr. Stoll said they're not stressed. They're not stressed, really. I've not seen a fish that isn't stressed when you fight it to exhaustion, then drag it back to the ship, then haul it out of the water on a platform so that this fish that's used to being fully supported in a neutral environment is now having 5,000 pounds of animal compressing its guts. Um, you know, one of the ones here was bleeding out its, its anus. And you can't tell me that animal wasn't stressed. Or maybe you can, but I just don't believe it. So you get it up there and then you have to get the hook out. And we had one here that the hook didn't come out. So they went through the gill slits and first they had to kick the ball out of the way that the shark had uh, eaten. And that took a little bit of work, but they had to do that before they could even irrigate the gills to keep the shark from essentially drowning because it was out of the water. Um, but that probably doesn't stress them either. And then of course they have to throw a towel over the eyes because otherwise the eyes are gonna dry out and uh, that probably doesn't stress them either. But then once they do all this stuff and they, well, if they can't get the hook out, they go through the gill slit, they cut the top of the hook off and leave the rest of it in its throat. That probably doesn't bother them. And then, uh, then what do they do? Oh, then they've got to drill some holes to bolt on this tag. So they get their Makita out and they start drilling holes in the dorsal fin. That probably doesn't bother them. And then they bolt this tag on. They bolt it on tight enough that these fins uh, have been seen to go essentially necrotic. Um, you know, you pinch it off and I guess it's probably blood vessels get pinched and well, the top of the fin tends to die off. Some of the, the fins are falling over and that probably doesn't stress it either. Um, and then when they finish all of that, they lower the platform in the water and push the shark back in and say it swam off. Okay, that's cool. You know, I guess it probably doesn't bother them a bit. And you know, one thing that kind of bothered me and, is when they do all this to the shark and you got this 5,000 pounds of animal pushing down on guts, what if that was a pregnant shark? What if you have 5,000 pounds pushing down on embryos? That probably doesn't stress them. I don't know, I guess I have a credibility issue with it. Mm -hmm. But what do I know, I'm just a fisherman. No. Any theory why a scientist would say something so incredible? Because uh, they're trying to justify what they're doing. You know, you say a lot of stuff to justify your project. How long have you been coming out here? I've been coming out here since uh, 1989. And have you been interacting with the researchers on the island for most of that time? Yep. Um, Scott, who's the primary shark guy here, used to work with me as a naturalist on the whale watching boats. How about the, the huge study that revealed the pattern, the migration pattern out to the White Shark Cafe? Do you uh, know what type of tags were used to get that data? Well, initially, yeah, it was this pop-off satellite tags. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what, how they found out what was going on and that some of the sharks uh, went to Hawaii and then went back either back there or back here. But uh, these guys weren't installing any spot tags, and these guys were some of the first to get that information mm -hmm. with those uh, pop-off satellite tags. Mm -hmm. Why is real-time data important? What's a, what's a good argument? Why is real-time data important? Well, the sooner you, uh, let's see, I have to think of. Right, maybe it's not. Well, uh, sure, the sooner you get the information, you know, the more current it is, uh, the sooner you figure stuff out. On the other hand, you say, yeah, but if we install these and we get the data after a year and it's the same information with much less stress or, you know, much less potential damage to the shark, that seems like a small cost to me. But I'm not the guy that's writing the paper and you know, I'm sure there's some competition in the scientific community to get this information out first. Policies falls way too close to politics, which takes forever. You know, and the more important the change, the longer it seems to take. Um, I don't know that potential change of policy would be a legitimate argument for installing a tag that gives you real-time data versus one that takes a year to get.